for my company is Crystal H Technology Screens. I try to refrain from doing videos on Sunday. Just had to plug this one in here fast today. So we have them back in stock. Actually quite shocked because I wasn't expecting for us to get the 150 inches in right away because they were showing that they were out of stock completely. So uh, today <laughs> went in, did some checking around, found out that the 120 inches are back on the site. We only have five of those. We only bought five of those. Like I said, we don't buy a lot of them just in case if some of them don't sell. We don't have too much in inventory. So we buy five or 10 or 20 at a time. So we have five of those in the shopping cart of the 120 inches. And as for the 150 inches, well, we bought about 50 of those because I don't want to go through what I went through last time. Uh, last time we just launched the screen, just launched it. <laughs> and right after we launched it, we couldn't get our hands on any more of them. So we ordered 50 ahead of time. So that way I make sure I don't have to go through that again. At least I got 50 of them in the shopping cart. All right. So as you can see, this is the 100 inch. 100 inch can be converted to 180 inch. And as you can see, as always, the signature behind this technology is it can be used in extreme well lit areas without the screen washing or fading. Fully acoustic sound can travel to the speakers. I mean, sorry, the speakers. Well, sound can travel to the screen. And also, too, on top of that, you don't need an expensive projector to do so. 4K demonstration. So I'll just grab just about whatever we need up here. I'll grab this one. It takes a, little, a while to go through, doesn't it? I'm going to take this one right here. All right, so as you can see, I'm in a fully lit environment using the ultra short uh, projectors. This technology is ultra short though and long though compatible. You do not need an expensive projector just to get a beautiful image. My projector here, down here, or up here, cost me around $130. And then we'll go downstairs later and check out the 150. Couldn't do any advertising off the screen. Like I said, the minute we got the screen put up, set up, built it, I go in and check to go pick up a bulk of the material. And they tell me, well, we don't have it anymore. It's out of stock. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So we were able to obtain one, one of them. So that one went into the shopping cart. That sold already. So we got that downstairs about to coat that. We'll be showing that off on Monday. Customers, 150-inch acoustic screen. Um, but like I said, we were only able to get one. We had to close the shopping cart. Bit of a bummer. But as I said before, God works everything out. And now we have about 50 or 60 of them coming through. So that's good. So as you can see, this is a technology working in a fully environment with no problem whatsoever as it should and like i said i can walk throughout my entire house and all my screens will fire up because we specialize in ambient light rejection technology that's our field that's what we specialize in getting screens the ability to be able to fire up in fully lit environments oh let me get some sound on here i keep forgetting it's all acoustic technology <laughs> My stuff's are not even hooked up. Chances are, I was probably charging the portable speakers downstairs. They take the same cord, and it's probably downstairs, but I'm not going to go downstairs and get it. I had to go downstairs anyway, but just showing you exactly the sound capabilities of these screens that sound can travel right through them. Now, this is a pre-coated surface, which means you don't have to paint it. It comes with a Signature 17 custom paint job, which means there's no painting involved. You take it out. You attach it to your frame, put your speakers behind it, and you're done. That's it. All the sound is coming through the screen. We've already tested this against uh, Elite Screens. Um, they're uh, acoustic screen, Vivastorm's acoustic screen. 
screen beat all of them with no problem whatsoever. This is why they sell out so quick. 120s went quick. So we got about, we got a few 120s. We got about, like I said, not a lot, but we got a few of them in the shopping cart now. As you can see, no expensive projector, basic 720p. Windows are open, plenty of lights pushing through. We got our overhead light making contact with the screen. No problem whatsoever. And this stuff, when you take it out of the package, it lays nice and flat to the screen. Anytime you use an ultra short throw, the surface has to lay nice and flat. If not, you'll get a ripple on the screen. No wrinkles, no creases at all. As you can see, flawless from edge to edge. And this is using invisible black technology which means your contrast levels are going to be through the roof. Even if your projector's contrast levels are low. All right, so let's come out of this one right here. We're going to go downstairs. We want to check out the big boy. That's the one we like to advertise off with. Never even got a chance to advertise off. Now this screen, I got a chance to measure it. Comes in at around 148. I'm a little bit sure, I thought it was 47, but comes in at 148. This is the big boy right here. These run around $348, fully acoustic, and they can take it as the other one, a ton of ambient light. As you can see where my screen hits at, it's about that far from the ceiling. So this light is directly right on top of the screen. And of course, we're using an ultra short throw projector to project this massive image. The projector I'm using the demonstration course, another NEC projector price tag for this one was $59. These are all 720p's. And I like to use the deep blue fish because nothing fades faster than a blue screen. So let's take a walk around the house for a little bit. Sorry if you see a little Max trash day, getting ready for trash day. No matter where I turn at, that screen has to be able to pop. I'll walk past the screen. Turn around. I should be able to see the screen from here. And it should remain blue from corner to corner. There should be no tannish or no kind of discoloration to the screen. It has to maintain a solid blue, even in a fully lit environment. Let's put something else on here besides the fish. Okay, demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. With it being a black screen, it can maintain very bright levels. I don't like to do the LG Jazz demonstration because it's just a camouflage of too many colors. I'm trying to find something I haven't even done yet. Okay, we'll do the colors right here. This screen is also too acoustic. I got my sound bar right into the back of it. It's got to maintain its colors, can't wash out. From edge to edge, that screen is supposed to produce proper color of feeding and washing out the full environment at 140, 148. Most is that when I was stretching it over the frame, I had an extra four inches of stretch room. So it's it's very well, it's, it's, it, like I said, stretch is extremely well. And again, like I said already before, if you're working with ultra short throw, whatever surface you're working with has to lay perfectly flat to the surface. If it doesn't, an ultra short throw will pick it up. <laughs> I think I'm joking. You want to find out if your walls are straight or not? Take an ultra short throw and hit the side of your wall with it. If it has a curve to it, then you basically know your walls aren't straight or perfectly flat. They have to lay flat to a surface. 
that's why when everybody's going out and getting those projectors, those knockoff projectors, because they can do 150 inches, I'm like, really? Now you're gonna spend your money for a projector that has fake specifications because it can do a so-called 150 inch. And all the ones I've seen, I've never seen them do 150 inches. I've never, I'm only seen about 120 maybe, but I've never seen them go past 120 inches. If their pixel count, I mean, pretty much, like I said, whatever they're producing it on, but I've never seen one at 150 inches full display in a fully lit environment. All the ones I've seen were actually done in really dark environments. The low end torque on the Ranger is really important to get me where I need to go. It's a burger made from plants. Mm. Right? America's favorites made from plants. That's what I'm talking about. I should be to sit in this room and I should be to see this screen with no problem. I gotta literally pull my So these are back in stock, which I'm happy because like I said, we just launched the screen. <coughs> Was only able to get one of them. Um, tomorrow we get to show our customers 150 inch screen before ship out Now we got enough of them in stock this time like I said I bought enough of them because I didn't want to go through what I went through the last time But we got enough of them We can get thousands of them, but we got enough of them Now these screens come with free worldwide shipping which means you can ship it to you anywhere in the world for absolutely free No money at all. No charge 4k demonstrations Getting that from YouTube. Why is it early in the morning? She works perfectly, but in the afternoon it's like, oh, she doesn't want to work. Or what? The problem you have with ultra short those is they basically have a very difficult time picking up on screens, especially at the large caliber screen I'm using right now on an angle game. They have a very difficult time.
Dragon Ball Z fighting trailers. Peggy 12. Gaming on the screen, which I was doing last night, is freaking amazing. Especially when the sound's coming through the screen. Now, speaking of gaming, before I leave out of here, let me show you something. This is the system for outside, outside system. Ooh, look at that. What's this? That's something new. That's a new Nova. Gaming technology. Something designed basically for enhancing gaming capabilities. I can't wait to play with this. But, can't do it today. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. Washed out my roller and everything. Got it nice and ready. We're going to be painting over this because we don't need this anymore. This is done. It's already served this purpose, so we're done with that. So we're going to paint over that since it's already primed. We don't need to prime the surface. Keep in mind, you don't have to. So we'll just mark that up really bad so that way you can show that you don't have to prime the surface. I don't want to get that in someone's head that they think they got to prime the surface. First. So we'll mark it up. But anyway, this is the new Nova gaming technology. Let me show you how weird this stuff looks. It's very, very pretty and extremely beautiful. Of course, made in 20 minutes by my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know you're probably trying to figure out exactly what it is and how it's made and how it's designed, but yeah, good luck on that one. This thing has 16 stages to it in order to design it, which I can't even explain to you what a stage is. But there's stages involved when we make these formulas. That's why none of our stuff matches that stuff. That's why there's a difference in our technology. When we stick them together, they actually react differently. Because they're called they're formulas. There's stages to them. You do know that if you actually add heat to a certain chemical, the reaction of that formula breaks down into something else. It's like if you when you cook. If you take sugar and you heat it up, that formula, that element breaks down into something else. So basically, when you develop something, sometimes cold and heat actually changes the reaction of the formula. Oh, see, it's a little bit more than that than just basically splashing around some paint inside of a can, shaking it up and saying, hey, look, this is what I have. No, there's a lot more than that. So like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to finish doing the demonstrations with this. Well, this is done. But the larger sheet that we painted, as I said before, we're going to put that against all the screens we have in the house to show you that this stuff doesn't match anything we have over here at all, period. But this stuff right here, like I said, I see people trying to stare inside of trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, good luck. 
Because like I said, there's stages to the formula and the form some of the stages of this formula and causes for the for the for, uh, formula itself and certain stages of the formula to be heated or to be cooled down in order to change the reaction of the element. And keep in mind, as you're doing this, all of these must marry together. Or if not, you may have a different reaction. Huh. Thought it'd be a little easier than that, wouldn't it? Nope, it's not that easy. Well, for me, it's easy because, like I said, all my technology comes from God. But for someone else trying to figure out how that's done, good luck. All right. I'm going to have to bring the PS4 downstairs. You know, yesterday, real quick, I went on to try to get me a PS5. Can't get one anywhere. Like, literally, Best Buy doesn't have them. No place has them. But I tried. No place has them. Which is insane. Because we're already in what? May? Yeah, we're already in May. And you can't get your hands on the system. Four K birds. Getting that from YouTube. Let me interesting my picture popped up there. Four K birds. Angry bird. I like angry bird. Hmm. Colorful wildlife. More often, the easy path is to just fit in, but sometimes the greatest rewards happen by. Real quick, you know why people use expensive projectors in a demonstration? Because they want the image to look very, very good. They want it to look the best it possibly can look. That's cheating. Why in the world would you have to, you're depending on a projector specification to make your screen look the best that it can be. So which one's doing the work? Is it screen or the projector? See, that's why it just came to me a few minutes ago and why people use these really high and expensive projectors because the better the projector, the better the image is going to come out. So there is enhancements being added to the screen because of the projector's performance. But what if you did that demonstration on a projector where the specifications were low? That means the screen does all the work. Much like my outdated, it said it costs 59 bucks. It does all the work. Sorry, we got to remove Wi-Fi from time to time in here. So the way this is set up, I can actually detach the frame. So if I basically want to take the frame off, there's two hooks here and here. If I want to add more speakers on the back of my screen, which I'm going to, because right now I have a sound bar behind the back of it, which you can see the cable right there. Now with the sound bar, what I'm planning to do with that is I'm going to cover that up. So it matches the wall and the interior so you don't see that anymore. And I'm probably going to put a nice low bookshelf area right across here with some decorated art or whatever, and that's it. I got it set up so you can't see my speakers anywhere. You don't see any speakers in the environment, no big bulky. I mean, it's up to you. You want speakers and all, but for me personally, I don't like to see big bulky towers throughout my environment. I like my environment to stay nice and clean. You don't see none of the speakers at all. Everything is hidden. All you hear is sound. We can take our lights out. But it don't make a difference. Lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. Starfield demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. I like to do this one because, well, let's put it this way. No one else can do it. Some fans love the taste of freezing cold Pop Tarts bites, and some just really like that clinking sound. That's disgusting. I like my Pop Tarts hot. Bam! Lights on.
This projector has a, I think it's 4,000 to one contrast, that's it. That's my ultra short throw, has a 4,000 to one. Uh, NEC XGA 720P projector. Like I said, you can get them for, I've seen them on eBay today for 160 bucks. Some people with expensive projectors using a million to one or two million to one something contrast can't do this. And I can do this on a $60 projector. Because again, like I said, the screen does all the work. NASA live in a fully lit environment. Yep. <laughs> so when we blast that customer screen, this is what he's gonna have in his home. Pretty sure he's probably gonna be using a much better projector than I'm using in my demonstration. Starfield walkthrough. I've never even played that game before. Kind of stuff like that anyway. Oh, that's two. That's 4.3. That's definitely not going to work. Contrast. Nah, it's too easy. It's a black screen. Cancel. Let's do something else. That's way too easy. Did you know the source of odor in your home could be all your soft surfaces? The Reese batter refresher eliminates odors. Spray it on your rugs, your curtains, your furniture, all over your home. The Reese batter refresher for a home odor freshness you'll love.
YouTube chat. Change my angles back and forth. You can see that the screen is actually picking up from all from all angles in the environment. That's what people want to see when you're firing off ultra short throws. Because, like I said, ultra short throws have really difficult times pulling up on an angle. All right, so I'm going back to my fishies. And if you're interested in the model number on the projector, <laughs> here you go. Projector's a little dirty, gotta clean it today. So UM361X, that's the one you wanna go with. Make sure it's that it's 61X. The reason why is because that particular projector has something called a positioning bar or a position adjustment which means when you put your projector on the floor, it's gonna hit right up to the ceiling. That position will allow you to, be to move the image all the way down to the, uh, bring it down. That's what I like about it. That's what I like about that particular model. I'm not gonna have the light on all day because you know, again, options. I don't know if I put lights or not. All right, I gotta go. I got much to do. I gotta get ready because, like I said, tomorrow we're gonna be uh, showing off customers 150 inch screen. These are now in stock now, so that's good. Uh, 120 inches are back in stock and we're going to be showing off that new gamer paint by Nova. We don't have a name for it, but it's a Nova 17 gamer paint. Uh, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I have to go and God bless.